Welcome to CSET Biology, the cover page. I am Mr. Wilson and today I'll be taking you through the Mark scheme. We're going to be looking at diffusion. And if you have seen my labs on diffusion, this is a proposed Mark scheme for that lab. The Mark scheme is pretty much a rubric that shows the, how the marks will be allotted for each item that you will look at or cover in the lab so usually it begins with the topic and we're looking at diffusion and the particular skill to be assessed is of course observation reporting and recording or recording and reporting then the aim is to determine how temperature affects the rate of diffusion then the heading we have there is criteria then we are going to have the marks allotted for each criterion and then of course we are going to be looking at marks earned that's the mark that the teacher will of course record for you and then the moderator from CXC will have his or her mark so we start off with the aim the aim must be clearly stated as you are seeing there above we have the aim clearly stated and this must be recorded in your lab book you'll be allotted one mark if that is properly done you should have at least 90 percent of the apparatus and material stated ideally we want to have all material and apparatus stated but this is a very early part of the syllabus so having at least 90 percent of that stated would be ideal and you're going to be given one mark for that if you have that in your book then the procedure should have few or no grammatical error and if you have that as well you are going to be getting one mark for that and of course, the moderator will look over your mark. I'll look at that later in the lesson. Now, your method should be clearly stated, and that's the procedure. It must be clearly stated in a logical sequence of activity and, of course, adequate detail provided. Please be reminded that you should not add observation to your procedure neither should you do any discussion in your pr procedure you want just to state the steps that are supposed to be taken in the lab for successful execution then we move on down to the result now the result captured uh, pretty much for all examples that is very very important and here you're given one mark each and that will be scaled to two be mindful that cxc does not award half marks as such if it is 0.5 you will uh, award a full mark to the student so of course the time of the change must be recorded that's the time of the color change you are supposed to uh, of course record the temperature of the water and that is going to be uh, before and pretty much after the experiment you want to ensure that you have it properly recorded or your teacher might guide you accordingly now the rate of diffusion is supposed to be captured and it can be captured has been fast moderate or slow and you're awarded a point if you did that well in the lab now changes in the color of the watercolor must be noted and if all that is done then you are going to be scaled to two so if you were supposed to get four out of four you'd put the four where the question sign is here or three or two or one and then multiply by two and you'd get the number that should be here be reminded half mark is not awarded the student is usually given the full marks if 0.5 is obtained now the changes in the color of a watercolor must be noted the changes in the color of a water column must be noted now the diagram appropriate diagram is very very important now your diagram in the lab is of course going to be worth two marks now appropriate diagram and of course the conclusion will allow you to earn an additional mark so you're going to get one mark there for the conclusion which would give us a total of 10 marks for this lab let me show you what happens here so we'll have 10 marks here and the amount that you earn would have been here and the moderator mark would have been here that would let us just scroll back to the top so here we have marks allotted 
that's the mark that is allotted for each item and how much you would have earned as the teacher uh, saw fit and then the moderator will make the adjustment to meet the need of CSEC. I do hope that you have learned and of course this mark scheme will help you to score full marks for your SBA lab for CXE. Thanks much for watching. I am Mr. Wilson from CSEC Biology, the cover page.